Hi and welcome to my ultimate laptop shootout. This is new ground for me and I'm looking forward to making this film. Before we really get going, let me tell you that I am amazed by the results. I've been asked a few times how I make my animation and films that I've recently started producing related to sport. Well, they are all made using the Adobe Creative Cloud, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, Character Animator and Audition. I'm completely self-taught using just YouTube tutorials. I invested quite heavily into a new Alienware a couple of years ago and I don't even have a single game on it. I use it just for media production, including 360 degree films. At the time of the purchase, it was the highest specification laptop available. Truth be told, I was completely happy with everything about it and its performance. It looks great and it was, in comparison to my wife's i7 computer, super, super, super fast. I don't like storing files in the cloud and having to back them up onto devices. I have four terabytes of SSD drives on the Alienware. I make a lot of films for my work and now the drives are starting to fill up. Nowhere near enough to slow the laptop down, but enough to give me an excuse to buy a new computer. My justification is that to increase the SSD memory on the Alienware would require changing one terabyte NVMEs to two terabytes. And as you know, this could be quite expensive. Now I'm looking forward to my retirement and will definitely have a kitten and cat live stream site. I now also want to teach myself some VR and AI. Now I don't know why, but I've always liked the Dell Precision and now there is the new W10885 chip in it. I thought I would take a look, as on the face of it, it is perfect for my needs. I asked a couple of online forums before I purchased the Dell 7750 whether it would be quicker than the Alienware i9. No one could give me a definitive answer. I found the reviews on YouTube just listed specifications and no one is really touching the Xenon W10885 Dell Precision 7750. The little bit of feedback I got from the online forums and my computer technicians at work was that there wouldn't be too much noticeable difference. So now that I am significantly poorer after the purchase of the 7750, I will be able to categorically tell you which is faster. This is a completely unscientific but honest shootout between possibly two of the best laptops available when purchased. This is a real world side by side test. The challenge is between two fully spec machines. The first contender is the Alienware i9 9900K, the desktop processor. It's got the NVIDIA 2080 graphics, eight gigabytes of it. It has 128 gigabyte RAM. This is at 2,600 megahertz. Although I do know that the max it runs at is 2,400 on the Alienware. Also, Alienware say that the max RAM for this machine is 64 gigabytes, but if you install each stick individually, it accepts up to 128. The Alienware only has SSD drives. There are three of them in it. The Alienware is up against the latest Dell 7750 Precision. The chipset in this is the Xenon W10885. It has 128 gigabyte RAM at 2933. It's got the RTX 5000 graphics card in it, which is 16 gigabytes. And once again, it only has SSD drives. There are three of them in this, although it does have the capacity for four. The only obvious difference between the specs are the processor, but also user benchmark rate them similar. The graphics cards and also the screen resolutions are different. For the test, I will make two identical films in Premiere Pro. These films include exactly the same content with clips that are in alpha, motion graphics, nested sequences, and other types. Total files in the project exceed 35 gigabytes. The test is to export a 25 minute H.264 film, adaptive bitrate low and in full HD 2K. Now I've been in education for a long time and so it would be wrong of me not to ask you which you think will be quicker. So which one do you think will export the film quickest? Let's see the side by side test and find out. Obviously I have sped up the footage, but the screen recordings are from the actual test itself. So here we go. And they're off. Now I'm going to have a quick cup of tea whilst I'm waiting for this.
Well, I did tell you, you would be amazed by the results. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm a little bit shocked. As I said, I was completely happy with the i9 Alienware. There you have it, the Dell Precision 7750 Xenon W10885 is nearly twice as quick as the i9 in this test. If money is no object, go straight out and buy this machine. If you have any thoughts on the subject, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see the completed film and find out if females are able to beat males in sport, then follow the link. Thanks.